People will listen to those who seem reasonable more than those who do not seem reasonable. It doesn't mean that the positions of those who are reasonable are reasonable. It's frustrating that right now the right wing is looking victorious because they're the ones that are acting more reasonable. Doesn't matter if their beliefs are the same as they've always been. Let's just treat them like they have a reasonable position because they're being reasonable in the way that they discuss stuff. Now, I'm not trying to give the left a pass on the way that many people are being unreasonable. But l let me show you an example of something. And don't forget the gay folks. Do not forget the gay people. Keep telling them to strip their fellow Americans of their religious rights. Translation, don't give religious people special rights to discriminate against LGBT that nobody else has. Keep telling them to try and silence anyone who disapproves of them. Yeah, because I guess it goes something like this, right? Don't hate me for thinking you're sinful. That's intolerant. If you interrupt me or try to stop me from telling people how sinful you are, you're violating my freedom of religion. If you show anger towards my telling people how sinful you are, you're emotional and unreasonable, and that makes me uncomfortable. We Christians are so persecuted. It's just not right that we can't spread the good word and tell people how sinful whole groups of people are. It's just not right that we can't spread the good word without people giving us a hard time. Keep turning them into homo-fascists, and we on the right will just quietly collect the gay people who just want to be ordinary people ordinary Americans and be left alone like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, why can't we be more normal like, like Dave Rubin, right? I just think it's funny. Look how y'all act when people have even the slightest negative connotations towards white people. But we gay people should put up with being told that we're sinful abominations for simply existing. You know, we should put up with that kind of thing with a smiling face like Dave Rubin does. Fuck you. Fuck you and anyone who thinks that women and minorities should have to put up with the social attitudes that we had to put up with in the past. No! We're not going to put up with that. We're not going to go back to that kind of thing. We're going to fight against any push for that with every fiber of our being. We're not going to tolerate any attempts to try to make that the norm again. And people like you seem to be clueless somehow as to why people like myself get angry at this sort of thing. Yet you get so upset when anything threatens your cultural supremacy. Oh, you're using buzzwords. How else am I supposed to word it? I'm not calling him a fascist. I'm not calling him a white supremacist. I'm not calling him that. I'm saying that there is a push to make traditional Christian living the standard instead of it being what it's been over like the past 15 or so years where, hey, yeah, we have a mixture of people. Yeah, the majority of people may be Christian, but we have a mixture of people. I'm against a push to bring us back towards this monolithic kind of culture. No, let there be a lot of different types of cultures. But to those who expect gay people to act more like Dave Rubin, sorry, we're, we're not your whipping posts. We're not your altar boys. We're not the the standards that you push on to women to be, you know, obedient and, uh, and docile. You know, we're not subhuman. We're going to react poorly when we get treated that way. No matter how much of a smiling face you put on when you tell us that we're abominations. If you feel that people are abominations for simply existing, why don't you keep that shit to yourself? You're wanting everyone else to shut up about how they hate your beliefs. Well, why don't you shut up a little bit? Why do you have to tell the world that God dislikes that group and this group and then turn around and play the victim because people don't respond very well to it? Again, according to people like you, we should all respond to this sort of stuff the way Dave Rubin responds. Oh, that's very interesting. And put on a smile. Pretend that things that are said aren't hurtful. Just put on a smile. Oh, that's very interesting. You know, we should all be like Dave Rubin, be a good gay instead of a bad gay. Look, it's fine if you have your beliefs. It's fine if you believe that gay people are abominations, and it's fine to think that women should be docile and controllable. But if you state it out loud, you should expect there to be some consequences. And no, it doesn't matter how nice you are when you say it. It doesn't matter if it's cherry, vanilla, whipped cream, swirl.
It doesn't matter if you've chosen the very best words. It doesn't matter if you have a crowd behind you singing Kumbaya. Backwards beliefs are backwards beliefs. It doesn't matter how much you try to shine a turd. You can't expect people to respond positively to those beliefs. If you have those kinds of beliefs, if you don't want to start a confrontation, then keep them to yourself. You know, if you want to start a confrontation, then fine, go for it. I'm not stopping you. But you can't pretend that you're some sort of victim because people don't like it when you state those beliefs. No, you, you don't deserve respect for simply stating a belief that's unpopular to state in public. You, you don't deserve respect for that. You don't deserve a special sticker for that. You don't deserve an applause. You don't deserve a, a speaking platform at a college just because you said something that's unpopular. There's nothing thought-provoking about those kinds of views. They're backwards, they're regressive. They take us back in time instead of looking forward. You know, the most of what we can learn from those kinds of views is what not to do. And no, you absolutely do not deserve to be arrested for stating those kinds of views. I'll stand beside you, I'll fight alongside you, if there were threats of those kinds of things ever happening. Okay, you should have the right to state those things without worry of the government getting involved, without being thrown in jail, something like that. You, you should be able to state your views and not worry about that kind of thing. But when it comes to people's responses to you, when it comes to how society responds to you, yeah, sorry, you, you don't get a special sticker, you don't get a special applause, you know, maybe you do right now because everyone's in the mega <laughs> kind of mode, but, uh, you know, to the rest of the world, they, they're they kind of horrified at what they're seeing, you know? But no, you don't deserve to be arrested for, for your stating your beliefs. But you're not going to get a special pass from culture, from society. Many of you are just feeling the tip of the iceberg as far as how much people really don't like how some of these bigoted beliefs are being spread and propagated. You know, and especially how people really, really don't like the idea of those kinds of beliefs possibly making it into our laws. But any bit of people stating they don't like those kinds of, of views being propagated is considered persecution. You're, you're persecuted for your beliefs. Well, sometimes beliefs kind of suck. Sorry. And this isn't saying in any way that all Christians feel this way. This isn't a thing that all Christians feel. And not all Christians are trying to, to implement their beliefs into law. There are plenty of Christians out there. There are plenty of people from Abrahamic beliefs that don't do this shit. Most of them aren't Republicans. Yeah, yeah. if, if, if more of you religious right-wingers would just live your life according to your religion, be even very devout about it, you didn't go around judging people and stating aloud your judgments of, of people based off of your religious views, you know, while claiming that it's not really you that's doing the judging, it's God that's doing the judging, not you. Yeah, but you're, you're, you have to declare it so it's you that's doing the judging. Sorry. You can't twist this around into something like that. Sorry. And you stopped trying to insert your beliefs into law, and you allowed the law to be more secular, then there'd be no reason for people to give you an attitude that you consider persecution. But that's not the way it seems to go. And gay people are apparently hateful and unreasonable when they declare that religious views that go against their very existence are hateful. Well, here it is. If you go low and tell gay people that they're abominations, expect them to kick your religion really hard.